Usually when you think of being flashed by something, you know when it happens. Hello people of the internet. Today I'm going to continue on with my 2021 Ford Bronco Black Diamond Edition, which I named Pokey after the horse in Gumby. If you're new and you like to get caught up on some videos on my Bronco, up above my head is a link to a video on a beginner's guide to salamander farming. Where we last left off, I just recently put this new set of Volk TE37Xs and some 33 inch BFGs on the Bronco, and you'll notice I still don't have a center cap. Except I do now. It came in the mail. That's not what this video is about though, but let's put them on. Ah, this is gonna be the finishing touch right here. It's gonna look so good. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Looks like I gotta kick the gump off the lift so I can get Pokey up here because I gotta take the wheels off. a lot better for center caps. Much, much better. I went with the black ones. You could get it in black chrome or chrome chrome, and I felt like the black chrome just suited the truck a lot better. So, here you go. I keep getting asked why I haven't taken this thing off-road or done any off-roading content with it yet, and the reason why is because it's not ceramic coated. So, I'm going to solve that problem today by ceramic coating it. This stuff smells delicious. And this is gonna be in my way. There you go. This stuff's basically just gonna remove any of the coating that's on there from the dealership. I don't know what coating they put on it. It's some kind of a water repellent coating. I don't think it's a real ceramic coating, but either way, I want something a little bit more durable than this stuff. My poor detailing light has seen better days. It's broken on either side. I just put some tape to hold it together. None of the products in this video are sponsored. But I will let you guys know what I'm using since a lot of you constantly ask when I do detailing videos. I'll link them down in the video description below. So if you look right here in the paint, there's just occasional little light swirls here and there. That's the stuff that needs to be polished out before I put a ceramic coating on here. I'm using a Body Shop Safe AIO. It has no fillers in it because it's Body Shop Safe. That way it's just a correction with no filler glaze to hide the imperfections. I've never actually used this stuff before. Fred just gave it to me to try out and he says good things about it. So I'm um, using it just on a polishing foam pad. It's a black one. That's what color it's black. Black's actually a shade, not a color. This isn't a professional detailing channel, so deal with my lack of correct terminologies. That's some good stuff. I'm happy with that end result. So if you look right here in the center of the screen, it's one little hairline swirl area right here. Other than that, the rest of this panel where I just went over is completely free of swirls. That was about 45 seconds to a minute going over it and 95% of all imperfections are gone. So this will work. Hello. I'll drop your shackles. Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean? Do I get He's gonna lift his fit. That sounds like you have problems emotionally. It sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like. It sounds like you've been bottling up your emotions for ten years. <laughs> sounds like. Hey, you were right about that stuff. Huh? I did uh, like one 45 second pass over the panel. Ninety five percent of any little marks are gone. Not that there was a lot to start with, but... Yeah, that stuff is magic, dude. Yeah.
problem. I just wasted like two and a half hours on the side of this truck that's brand new and it was like perfect to begin with. But you just, you get the LED light and it's like in the paint and then your eyes get in the paint and you just get deeper and deeper and deeper. And next thing you know, time's flying by. I got like 98 and a half percent of all the defects out of the paint though. That's a precise number. It's crazy what you don't even realize, even though it looks perfect, like there's no swirls on it and it does repel water, like it beads up nicely. It feels so much smoother now just after going over it with the buffer. Why do I need to make this stuff smell so good and look so good? I'm getting hungry. Don't eat car wax, people. See what this looks like. Yep, looks like a big gray square still. Fantastic. Oh no, robot! Ouch! Bumper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. Keep doing good job, robot. Keep doing a good job. It's the next day. I got all of the paint polished out with the exception of the rear door. It's almost ready for ceramic coating. I changed things up a bit right after I did the first panel yesterday and I switched to the blue polishing pad. It's a little bit finer because the black one was just leaving a faint haze on the paint, which is a little bit too aggressive, but the blue one did the job. Well, the robot's attacking the broom. There, see? He's attacking it. He's trying to knock the broom over. It does not like that broom at all. I'm gonna take these things off just to make it easier to polish this out. Hello. This next part is going to be stinky. Luckily, you're on the other side of the screen, so you can't smell what I can smell. The ceramic coating is bad. Don't breathe it in. This might look like an eraser for a tiny dry erase board, but it's not. It's a foam cube. I'm gonna take one of these fancy cloth chinchilla diapers, and I'm gonna wrap it around said foam cube with the that side facing down because I like that side better. There's an eight and a half percent chance I did something wrong with this ceramic coating process, and I'm fine with that. Instructions spread. Shake, drip, and spread. That sounds like a fun activity to get single dollar bills thrown at you. I'm gonna give this one final prep spray. Just make sure there's no anything on the paint. It's gonna drive some of you crazy that I'm not taking this off and doing the little bit of paint that's back here by these flapper doodles, but these bolt heads are painted gloss black and I don't want to scratch these bolt heads up just so I can put some ceramic coating on something that's not even going to get exposed to the elements. Had I lived in a salty environment where there's lots of road salt, I would probably be convinced otherwise to do back there, but yeah. One drop, two drop, three drop, four drop. Got to do a crotch face pattern. Oh yeah, getting around this horse is actually practical. Not. In case you're wondering, this is a fresh, clean microfiber. It's the same color as the one I was using with the prep stuff, but it's fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and level it since it's been about three minutes now. Wow. I think this got glossier. I actually think it did. I'm sure this would be way more meaningful if I was wearing a lab coat, but the science behind the ceramic coating is you apply it, it starts to adhere to the paint, and then you have to level it. And I just think of it laying on the layer of surface of paint, which is not smooth, it's got little divots and imperfections on it, but you use microfiber to just kind of smooth it out, so that way there's no peaks and high and low spots in the ceramic coating itself. 
I know this isn't gonna show up on camera, but I swear to you, it looks glossier over here where I just did than over here where I haven't done. I'm gonna get an independent set of eyeballs and see. Maybe it's just me, it's probably just me. The right side? <laughs> that's the side I did. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so it's not just me. Yeah, like this one looks kind of, it's almost like it's a little dull, I guess you could say. And then this has a little bit more, almost like, um, if Wait, you took... Wait, are you looking at the plastic? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I did the paint. The, either the paint on this side or the paint on this side. Sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, redo. <laughs> Oh wait, no, yeah though. Yeah. You still say right side? I still say right side, yeah. Like right here is the line where I stopped doing it. I swear. <laughs> Even in like different lighting, it's like faint, but it's there. It's definitely glossier. It's because it's color is really, I mean, cactuses aren't meant to be glossy. <laughs> I kind of disagree with calling this flashing off because usually when you think of being flashed by something, you know when it happens. This, on the other hand, not so much. This is more like, oh yeah, that looks like it's edible. Let's hope we don't get salmonella. Makes me feel weird just leaving this thing hanging. There. You would not believe what just pulled up outside of the shop right now. Keep in mind, this is Arizona. Yeah, that's a, a Holden Malu in in the States. This, this, how? This is insane. This is so crazy. I know all of you watching from Australia right now are like, oh yeah, I see those every day. But uh, they don't sell those here in America. So that's, uh, that's pretty rare. Look at that. LS3. That's rad. I figured that was worth doing a quick intermission for because that's just wild that that's here. I figured out what it is, and this is probably not even gonna be able to see this on camera. It's the content of the orange peel in the paint. I just did this rear quarter panel. The orange peel looks more smoothed out versus the door that I haven't done yet. You literally can't see a difference whatsoever on camera, so I'm gonna shut up now. I know what this smells like now. This smells like simulated cardboard bacon. That's what it smells like. After that panel, I've learned not to do too big of an area because once this stuff starts to flash off, it's a lot harder to level it if you wait too long. If you don't wait long enough, it just wipes off like you, you didn't even do anything. And you just essentially waste the product. Okay, start leveling this. Drip, 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 drip. Stuff's yellowish. It, it looks like it gets like an oily slick look to it when it's flashing. Debating whether I want to do a second coat on this. I would have to wait a full 24 hours, I think, though. I don't know. We'll see. To do over the label or not to do over the label? I think I'm not going to, I don't know. That just, that looks like that might have weird effects if I go over it. I have a clear bra on the Forester that I did myself when I first bought it and it's held up like seven years or so now. I kinda wanna put one on this too. That one is a uh, 3M, I think. Give me some suggestions below your favorite uh, clear bra brand. I might do one on this.
ceramic coating applied. It is definitely glossier than it was before. It looks smoother. That's what it is. It looks smoother. Less orange peely. I don't know. I'm happy with how this turned out though. Let's get right up on it. I want to see if you can actually pick it up. It's, it's so hard to see the orange peel. You can kind of see it in the reflection of Brandon's Miata. It's not as ripply when I go up and down. I don't know. It's impossible to see on camera. You probably just think I'm crazy, but in person, it's uh, slightly noticeable. It definitely feels a lot slicker to the touch, that's for sure. When I went to shut the door, my hand just slipped off the edge of it when I was closing it. So the center caps look really good. I'm happy how the center caps turned out. Ooh, my leg itches. But yeah, that's the finished product. I'll see how this ceramic coating holds up here over the next couple months. I'm debating whether I should do a second coat. Obviously, I'm not going to do that tonight, but uh, tomorrow morning I might throw a second coat on there. I don't know. The next video I have coming for the Bronco, I have the bracket coming back from powder coating for the oil catch can, so I'll put that on there as well as something else I bought for this that is going to require a little bit of fabrication. And uh, I got some more parts in the works that I should hopefully have on the way by the end of the week. Uh, and then I guess I'll get back to work on the Ranger here in a couple days after the next car view. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.